So let's talk about primary apple scab. We moved over to a block of uh, empires where the grower had a little trouble with a sprayer one night. Heavy, we've had a lot of heavy scab infections. I believe there's been 18 or 19 rain events. Uh, two thirds of those have turned out to be actual scab infection periods. There's a, you compare the uh, hours of wetting with the temperatures and before you get a primary scab infection. So we've got some pretty good examples of primary scab, maybe some secondary scab started on some of these leaves and just didn't get a fungicide on at the right time. Now that um, scab is starting to express itself on the top of that leaf, this, you know, now the grower will have to keep this covered up with a pre preventative fungicide just so that when the next rain or wetting event, even spraying heavy dew, those spores don't start to wash off those leaves down onto some fruit that's underneath them. And if we're finding it here, obviously it's at the top of the tree and we don't need to have that cover the whole, uh, all the apple, all the fruit on here. So he'll have to keep it for the next couple weeks until the fruit hardens off, these leaves get a little heavier, we could get some growth stop so we're not getting this fresh growth out here, all that's susceptible to scab. So we'll keep that up, covered up with a preventative fungicide, primarily captain in this circumstance. But I also got an example of uh, where we're back in here with a fungicide uh, with some back action. In this case, I think it was one of those super sterile inhibitors, new sterile inhibitors, and it actually killed the scab fungus as it was starting to express itself on that leaf. Probably a back-to-back -back application because we're like, see a spraying every three or four days. So instead of looking like what we had down here where we got the, the scab actually on the lesion, on the leaf itself, we've killed the lesion here and it wasn't able to express itself. So it uh, tells us that we're cutting it pretty close with those that scab spray at least during this period of time and by the looks of these leaves you know we're this week that's uh, probably three weeks ago when we had uh, that scab infection on that leaf and that leaf was pretty new and looked a lot like this